What's going on guys, it's your boy Avionics back with another video. In this video we are doing a tutorial on how to multicolor 3D print logos with your Creality K2 Plus combo with the Creality CFS. And here are a few examples of the magnets that I've made and I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step process for you on how to make official looking logos with different colors for magnets or what have you. But here are a few examples of what I've made. So the first thing you want to do is, if you don't already, create a Tinkercad account. It's very free and it is a very user-friendly 3D modeling software that is browser-based. You don't have to download software. Just go to Tinkercad.com and work on your projects. The second thing you need is you're going to go to Inkscape.org and download the free software, which is kind of like Illustrator. And they do have it available for Mac as well. Once you've done that, go ahead and look for a logo that you want to create. So we're going to use the Chicago Bears logo. So uh, once you've downloaded Inkscape, um, go ahead and open it and open up the document for uh, the logo that you want. So like I said, we're going to be using the Chicago Bears logo. So I just want to let you know this is a 4K resolution logo that we're working with, but it's OK. So the first thing you want to do is right click and then select Trace Bitmap. And then now over here, we have this preview. Um, I think of, uh, originally it was down to like 4.45 on the threshold here and it looked like this. But what we want is all the actual colored shapes to be solid black. So from here, we want to either increase or decrease. If everything is all black and you want to decrease right here, um, but in our case, we want to increase until that orange becomes black just like that. From here, you want to click apply. And then from here, you want to export over here. And we are going to go down here, choose your location and everything, and then hit the drop down right here. And we are going to select Inkscape SVG. We are going to save that. I already have that, so I'm just going to replace it. All right, when we're done with that, just go ahead and close out Inkscape. I'm going to close without saving. Now go to Tinkercad.com, start up a new project, hit import over here. I'm going to choose our file. Our file is on my desktop here and is right here, The uh, this one right here. So 100%, like I said, this is 4K, so this is measuring in millimeters. So I just want to make this uh, 100 millimeters in height. The length is the height. And then hit tab and it automatically um, calculate the width. So it's going to be 177.78 millimeters wide and then uh, 100 millimeters tall or in height. Go ahead and import that. Give it, give it about a few seconds. All right, don't worry about this where it says some elements removed. Go ahead and X that out. So right here, as you can see that we don't have the actual white. We just have what the, was the blue and the orange as a one file or one shape. Um, so what we want to do is create that white shape. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and make it orange just so it's easier to uh, understand that we want this to be orange and then blue, but we'll take care of the rest of the colors later. So now to actually make the white shape under here, we want to click on the sketch tool here, click anywhere on the actual work plane. And we're basically going to draw in our white shape that will be recessed about 1.5 millimeters from the top surface of the C. So first thing, let's turn the snap grid to off, which it already is. And what, what basically what we're gonna do is gonna go around the whole outer outline and draw the shape of the white. Just to make sure you stay in between the lines here. And to move the actual view, hold down the scroll wheel and then drag. And I'm just going to go around the whole entire shape here. So I'm going to go ahead from here and speed up the video so you don't have to watch me do this all the way around at this speed. All right, so now we want to just click on the first plot point that we did, and that's going to close up our shape. From here, we want to hit finish sketch. And you'll see that everything is basically the same height. So when I make my magnets, I like them to be a total height of six millimeters. So I'm going to change the height of the orange C 
to 6. And then here, now you can see a clearer view of the shape that we drew, which is, like I said, make sure you draw in between those lines. So click on the light blue or whatever color may be. I like to recess mine 1.5 mil millimeters less, which would make it, sorry, which would make it 4.5. And now you can see that we have a, a three-dimensional height difference, which will give us that white. So now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and just make this white just for all intents and purposes. I already have my magnet holes like templated out, so I would just copy and put them in here, but we don't need to go over that. But from, um, from here on out, now we can group everything. So either control A and then hit this group button here. So now everything is all one shape. So from here, we wanna go ahead and rename that to our bears logo. I'll just put T C for Tinkercad and hit export. Hit STL, it'll save it as an STL. So from here, now we wanna open up our Creality Print Slicer. All right, so go ahead and import that STL file right here. Left, left arrow all the way over. And then we named it Bears Logo TC. So now here, it's all just one color, right? But we want three colors. We want navy blue, white, and orange. So here over in the filament, we wanna click on the plus to have three. I'm gonna make the first color the blue. It doesn't have to be the exact blue. And then the number two filament will be white. Okay, left click to, to make these colors change. Orange, okay. All right, so from here we wanna assign the colors. So over here, hit the right arrow till you see the, the paint easel or paint palette. It's the color painting button. Shortcut is the end key on your keyboard. Click that. So from here, we're gonna color everything accordingly. So everything is already mainly blue. So we're gonna go ahead and do white. So let's select number two or white. And we wanna use the fill tool type right here. Okay, and then we're just gonna zoom in here with the scroll wheel, drag it over. And we're gonna hover over what would be the white. And we're just gonna go ahead and left click it. There you go. So now everything that should be white is white. All right, well now we're gonna make the, the C orange. So we're gonna click on the orange here. Zoom in a little, hover over the face, and now it's orange. All right, so we're not done yet. We wanna make everything that's supposed to be orange, orange, like over here, the inner part of the C and the outer part. So hover over till the white is highlighted. White line, white line is highlighted. It's a little iffy, you have to zoom in or kind of change the angle, hover over. All right, there we go. All right, so we're not done yet. We have to do this edge or that face, okay? Now you wanna make sure all of them are orange, otherwise it's gonna print it in that color, which is blue. So when you think you're done, just make sure and rotate all the way around. Now, when I have my magnet holes here, uh, you, want, you just wanna make sure that th they're blue and the inside uh, edge uh, face is blue. So we're basically done here now. So all we're gonna do now is unclick the painting so we have this view we already have our color selected go ahead and change your temperature your wall loops so i've noticed that when i have my magnets in here um, i will put my magnets down in the video description below if you want to use those magnets but with all the default settings with the white showing if, if it's placed under the white you will see you will faintly see the the layer of where the magnets would sit, it's and I don't like that. So here, the default number for top shell layers under this tab is five. I changed that to six, and you will know I no longer see that outline or the hole where the magnet would be. So that now there's enough white layers, so it covers up that hole. So from here on out, you just want to slice now and go through the regular motions of printing. So yeah, you just have to hit print now, and then it'll print all three in colors, making your logo perfect with a 3D recessed white. As you can see in my other magnets, I've made the Ninja Turtles, uh, I've made the Chicago Bulls, and I actually like the uh, 0.5 millimeter uh, difference between the black outline and the colors in Tinkercad. If you're gonna have like, a, I think that's a good balance. It's not so high where the black is so high. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed watching this video and if it helped you, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any questions, feel free and I'll uh, answer when I get a chance. And if you haven't already, 
please subscribe and hit that notifications bell for more videos like this. Thanks for watching guys.